What is up guys, got another achievement guide for you in Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Today we are doing the Game Over Man achievement. And to do this we need to call in a rescue. Now this achievement is a big old bag of dicks and has a few elements which are looked based, so it may take you a few attempts. So without further ado, let us call in our rescue. So when you first start the game, you are going to run over to the downed helicopter and you are going to grab the black box off the floor by pressing X. You will know you've picked it up because it will appear next to your badge ID. After this, you're going to take the black box to this computer station in the morgue and you're going to hold down X to put it in the computer. After this, the computer will tell you that you need to find all four of the badge IDs of the characters in the game. So let's go find them. Now you can do this achievement online with other people, but I personally found it a lot easier to do offline by myself. The only difference is you will have to pick up your own card if there are other players in the game, because they cannot pick up yours for you. Now the first card we're going to get is Decker's card. First you need to find a trash chute. Once you find the trash chute, you're going to walk up to it, hold down X, but press back so it opens once by itself. Then you're going to hold down X again, go down the chute, and you'll be in the incinerator room. Once you're in the room, turn towards the wall that is coming towards you and shoot to the left hand side of it on the floor. This is where I got the card first. Don't worry if the card goes behind the wall because you can pick it up from behind it. So I've slowed down the video and you should be able to see the card flipping in the air after me hitting it and landing on top of the dirt. Then you can run over and pick it up. You will know when you've picked up the card because the number on your badge ID which reads double zero will change to a one. Unfortunately the card does spawn in a few different areas so you may have to shoot different parts of the floor. But a little tip, at the beginning of every single round, the price of the trash chute goes back down to 100. So if you don't get it, at least the worst is you'll have to spend 600 credits. The second card I'm going to get is Can's card, and unfortunately for this card, you need to be infected. Once infected, you need to run through the administration building and press a bunch of buttons on the wall. So, so here I am getting infected, and I'm going to turn on my camouflage that I got from an orbital drop, and the buttons can be found here. You'll know you've pressed it because it'll turn green and make a beep. The second one's here. Third one is down this corridor next to this spawn point. And the fourth is up on this little ledge. Once you've got yourself uninfected and you have killed the rest of the zombies in the round, run into the administration building and at this desk you'll notice this panel's here no longer. And you can pick up the card off the desk. For Lilith's card, the player must get the EM1 out of the 3D printer. That is this gun with the big red beam that goes pew 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 pew. Then after that, you've got to print another gun in the 3D printer and shoot while it is printing. You'll notice the card up here in front of you, and then you can just pick it up. Seems easy, but this was the biggest pain in the arse one to get. In order to get Oz's card, you will need to get Exo Slam from the main hub. Then, you will need to run into holding, find these two cages, and then shoot out the bar that's underneath them. Eventually, the bar will disappear, and if you run round to the right and look in the third cage, you will notice the card on the floor. So we're going to double jump on top of these two cages, stand on the first one, do the exo slam onto the second, then the third one will pop up, run and grab the card from it. Now that you've got all four cards, you're going to take them back to the morgue and put them in the computer that you put the black box in. And you're going to get told that you need to upgrade the cards. So in order to upgrade the cards, we need to kill, kill, kill all the zombies we can. They will drop little cards, and if you run over their dead bodies, you will pick them up. Now, not every single zombie does drop one, so you will just have to keep running around until eventually, the little number next to your name, which does read 4 at the beginning because you've got 4 cards, will go to level 49. So here is an example of one of the cards that's been dropped by the zombie just floating in the air here. You just run over and pick it up, and the number should go up by one. After killing enough zombies to get it to level 49, go back to the computer in the morgue, put the cards in, and it's going to tell you that you need to log in for the day. Now, that means you have to find the thumb printer and log yourself in. There are four different ones, one for each character. To scan Lilith's thumbprint, you need to go to the morgue, and opposite the exo room, there is a thumbprint scanner on the wall here. Decker's thumbprint scanner can be found in the exo room of this little staircase here and on the left. Cans can be found on the wall opposite the MP11 in the administration building. And Oz's thumbprint scanner, the one which I am looking for in this game, is at the back of holding just next to these broken double doors. Now once you find your thumb scanner, you're going to have to run up to it and press it. If you're in multiplayer and playing with other people, they will need to find their own. And then once you've pressed that, it should turn green. And your card should level up to level 50. With your card at level 50, run back to the computer in the morgue and it will tell you to get to the rendezvous in 24 hours. So what we need to do is we need to go to the exo room, even though you've already got one on, grab it and it should say exo already installed or whatever, blah blah blah. Then you're going to need to run outside. You will know that it's worked because you will start hearing some funky ass music. And then when you run outside, you will see this heli in the sky. Ah, oh, there it is. Woo! Help us on the way. But no. Boom. 
it goes down. And then the achievement should pop. Anyway, I hope this guide has helped. Best of luck, and uh, we'll catch you guys later.